Hey guys, it's been a while. Don't mind the uh, scruffy beard right now. So I'm just getting around to it because the holidays picked up a new uh, gun before Christmas. Hugo SKS. Didn't have the sling on it when I got it, but I already had the sling. So I actually got to shoot this Christmas Eve of all times. And it actually. I mean, it's a nice looking rifle. Here, let me get a better shot of it for you. I don't really like this spot right here in the wood, but I wasn't going to go all out and refinish it. But, I mean, for the condition it was in, I, I probably could have found it if I looked around online cheaper for one. But with used mill sharp guns, I like to be able to see them and actually check them over in person before I buy them. So I like this one. It came out real nice. I did notice that when I cleaned all the Cosmoline out of it, I used some of this, what is it? Birchwood Casey Gun Scrubber. Worked reasonably well. But if you, uh, I don't know if, how well it'll transfer up here. Now, if you see this, this is black. Now, if you look at the actual receiver, the bluing did went purple on the receiver. And that was like the only part of it that did that. Uh, so now I have a two-tone SKS. <laughs> But it's all matching as far as I can tell. Yeah, I do have a little issue with it, I noticed, because I put 100 rounds through it when I was at the range. And the takedown lever right here on the gas block, it kept popping up on me. And I was actually talking with one of the guys at my local shop who, um, he has a couple SKSs. So he said, what he does is actually, when he runs in the one that has that problem, he takes a little bit of solder and will solder that in place because it's not a permanent fix. Because if you have to, you can break the solder to get it open and it comes right off. But it stops it from actually popping out of the little detent it's in. So I'm probably going to end up doing that to this so it doesn't keep doing it because it's annoying as hell when you're shooting and you see the little thing flip up and you're like ah shit gotta push it back down so not too shabby I had like three different ones I could have chose I took I, I took the pretty one <laughs> basically is what it comes down to uh, it's actually a really nice shooting rifle believe it or not because unfortunately with my type 56 uh, I'm in the search for parts to put it back into a wood stock which I'm just waiting until I see one for the right price kind of deal because people are asking ridiculous money for a wood stock for Norinco for a type 56 yeah it is what it is you know so when I see one for a good, a decent price, I'll probably pick it up. But in the meantime, I've got this one to shoot. Um, it's not definitely not the lightest SKS. My Type 56 is definitely much lighter. Even in a wood stock, it will be lighter. I mean, this is a good probably nine to ten pounds. I would bet. Just guessing. But it shot real nice. Um, didn't have any problems with the grenade launcher moving on me at all or any of that stuff. There were actually a couple guys at the range who had never seen one. I'm like, it's an SKS. How have you not seen an SKS? Uh, apparently they have. Hadn't, you know. But wasn't too bad. I got this from uh, Shooter's Outpost in Hooksit, New Hampshire. And as far as I know, he's the biggest 
gun dealer in New Hampshire. He's about 15 minutes south of where I live. So, pretty local. Pretty easy to get a hold, you know. He usually has a decent selection of Millsurps there. It's where I picked up my Swiss K31 from. Um, what else did I buy from him? My FEG PMK380, which I just actually sold today. But I picked up something better. Let me put this away here. Because you can't see it off screen yet. But I finally went and bought something with some Christmas money I got. That I've been lusting after for a while. And I haven't even got to shoot it or anything. I literally just got back from my other local shop. And uh, just got back and I picked up one of these. The Scorpion Evo pistol. Because I will get the SB Tactical Brace for it. You can't see, but I'm literally looking on Manticore Arms right now. Because there's a couple things I'm going to change on this right away. One of them being... Let me see if I can... Is the safety lever. This is going to go. That's going to be the first thing I order and get rid of on it. And they also have... The extended charging HK charge lever here, which definitely will fix a couple of the issues that I've had with these. Uh, I haven't decided if I'm gonna, I'll probably shoot it for now with this grip because it's not a terrible grip, but I don't know if I'm gonna go with the Yeti's Works grip yet or the new Magpul one that was announced. Yes, Magpul is making a grip for these now. So how long do you think before they start coming out with other accessories for these? And yes, it is green, so it is in my color. Because I love green. I haven't shot this. I literally just got home. playing with the sights here. Uh, I, I wanted the one with the different forend that looks more like the uh, carbine forend, but there's not really a lot out there yet. I mean, Manticore has got a couple different forends available for them. I may end up changing this, but for now I'll probably just get the Picatinny rail covers because these annoy the shit out of me and they just don't look right to me. And eventually I'll probably throw like a Manticore Arms one on there that has the uh, M-Lock compatible slots right on it. I'll probably end up throwing one of the Magpul F uh, AFGs on it. And the nice thing is under here is half by 28 thread, so any nine millimeter Whether, I think they've got the tri-lug adapter available for it. There's a whole bunch of different, really cool aftermarket parts for these now. And I got to do a little research on them to see how well some of them work and see what's actually out there. <clears throat> but definitely need the extended charging handle. Definitely are going to order the new safety after that, it's going to be tinkering to see, you know, a little while afterwards just to see what I'm going to get put on it, you know. I will be putting the SB Tactical brace on it. <laughs> and if they come out with the, which one is it, the A3, if they come out with a, if somebody comes out with an adapter for the A3, the collapsible M4 style stock. I probably will go with that, but right now they've got the Scorpion one. So, we'll see how that goes. It, I like it. it it's, uh, it's light enough. Feels solidly built. 
Like I said, I haven't got to shot, shoot it yet, so can't give you a range review on it yet. But I will eventually, once I get around to it. So that's about all I've been up to. And uh, it's green, so I do like it. Because <laughs> I am a, I'm, a, I'm a Magpul whore, and I'm a green whore. You, so green, Magpul, yes. It comes with the two 20 rounders, but I also picked up, my local shop has these 30 rounders. And yes, they are loaded already. Because this will be going to the range as soon as I get a chance. Because I want to give this thing a nice workout. Once I strip it down, clean it, and then re-oil it. But, uh... That's about all I've got going on today. I gotta go grocery shopping in a bit. So that's gonna be fun. I, right after I get, when I get home, I'll give this a nice cleaning and lube it up. I'm just gonna sit here and work the action a bit because it's stiff as hell. That charging handle. And you can, with my size fingers, I can barely get one finger on it. So. Probably before I leave, I will be ordering this extended charging handle and the safety. Because why not? <laughs> That's about all I'm doing today, so I'll just end it here and wait for some snide comments or whatever comments you got. And if you've got one of these, and if you've tinkered with it a bit, let me know how it what you've got and uh, how it works out because I'm gonna thoroughly enjoy this I'm pretty sure but especially now that I have this and my PC9 carbine so this will probably try honestly turn into my truck gun but I'll talk to you all later